Hello viewers, now welcome to my channel. Uh, today's topic is uh, the Guillain Barr syndrome, also known as GBS. Uh, but before starting, I would like to request you to like, subscribe, and share these videos to support this channel. And if you need more information about any disease and any medical condition, you can visit my website, which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com. The link for the website is just below this video in the description below. Now I come to the Guillain Barr syndrome or GBS. It's a rare and uh, in this condition uh, the body's immune system attacks its own nerves. So it weakness and tingling in your extremities are the main symptoms and uh, these sensations are quickly they spread very quickly and uh, eventually they paralyze whole body and it's most severe form it's called guillain bears bar syndrome so guillain bar syndrome or gps is a medical emergency and most people with this condition must be hospitalized uh, to receive the treatment The exact cause we don't know, uh, but it's often uh, preceded by an infection, uh, like uh, a respiratory tract infection, or maybe it could be any uh, stomach or stomach flu. Uh, there's no known cure, so we don't know any treatment because we don't know the reason exactly. But the several treatments can ease the symptoms and uh, reduce the duration of the illness. And the most people recover from the guillain barr syndrome. Uh, so some may experience uh, like uh, lingering effects for it, such as weakness or paralysis or uh, numbness or fatigue. So these are the long-term complications. The next thing is what are the main symptoms? The GBS often begins with the tingling sensation and the weakness uh, starting from the feet and the legs and spread to the upper arms. So it starts from the feet and travels upwards. And in about half of the people with the, this problem, GBS, the symptoms begin in the arms or the face. And uh, as it progresses, the muscle weakness can evolve into all the body and it can cause paralysis. But the most important com and the common signs and symptoms are like uh, prickling, pins and needles, sensations in the fingers, in the toes, in the ankles, in the wrist. Weakness in the legs that spreads to the upper parts of arms uh, problem in walking like unsteadiness uh, and inability to walk or inability to climb the stairs uh, you may have a difficulty with the eyes or maybe in the facial movements uh, including speaking chewing or swallowing due to the weakness of the nerves and the muscles. Severe pain that may feel achy or maybe like cramp-like feelings and it worsens at the moment. Uh, difficulty with the bladder, so you may have incontinence or maybe the bowel function is disturbed. Uh, rapid heart rate, and low or high blood pressure and difficulty in breathing. So these are the most important signs and symptoms of the uh, the GBS or the guillain barr syndrome. Symptoms start from the feet and travel to the arms and then uh, slowly paralyze your whole body. Uh, the next thing is about the types. Well, once thought to be a single disorder, but uh, GBS now is known to occur in 
several or multiple forms. And the most important ones are uh, like uh, the first one is acute inflammatory uh, demilinating uh, polyradiculopathy, in short, known as ARDP. The second one is uh, Miller Fisher syndrome, uh, known as MFS, acute motor uh, uh, ox oxonal neuropathy, also known as AMON, AM, AM. And acute motor sensory uh, oxonal uh, neuropathy. So these are the different types of the uh, Guillain Barr syndrome. Uh, if you feel that you have the tingling, pain and needle sensation, and uh, you have problem with walking and chewing, uh, or uh, you're feeling like uh, uh, problem in walking, uh, you should consult your doctor for the evaluation because this is a medical emergency. Uh, it progresses very quickly. Uh, the next thing is about uh, the causes. As I said earlier, we don't know the exact cause, uh, but there are some risk factors which has been identified. And uh, the main cause is, as far as we know, is that uh, is autoimmune disorder. So where our uh, our immune system attacks our nerves. Uh, but the main risk factor which has been identified so far are if you are male and you are a young man. Uh, in that case, you are at high at risk. Uh, but it may be triggered by influenza virus, any chest infections. Uh, any like Epstein-Barr uh, virus, uh, maybe hepatitis A, B, and uh, E, HIV, or AIDS can trigger it. Surgery can trigger it, or maybe uh, mycoplasma pneumonia it can trigger it. Uh, and rarely, influenza vaccination uh, can trigger it as well. So these are the risk factors which has been identified so far. Next thing is what are the possible complications or long-term complications? Well. It affects the nerves. So the nerves control your movements and the body functions. So that people with this condition experience breathing difficulties, they experience residual numbness or other sensations. Uh, they may suffer from the heart or the blood pressure problems. They suffer from the pain and uh, uh, they may have the blood clots. Uh, maybe bowel or bladder incontinence or the functions are, are disturbed. So it has multiple uh, long-term complications if it's not treated properly. Uh, now the severe initial complications, uh, symptoms can uh, increase the risk of the serious long-term complications. And uh, Rarely, uh, it can be fatal, and uh, the mostly the cause of death after the uh, GBS is uh, uh, respiratory distress syndrome or maybe heart attack. So these are the two most dangerous complications which can cause death. But the next thing is about how do doctors diagnose? It can be difficult, but uh, especially at the early stages, and uh, because there are so many other diseases which have the same symptoms, uh, but your doctor will likely start the medical history and the physical examination and look at your reflexes, you know. If you, you will touch your skin just to see if it's like any kind of a numbness. And uh, then if he suspects then uh, for to further evaluate, uh, he may advise the spinal tap or the lumbar puncture test, uh, maybe electromyography. 
and maybe the nerve conduction study. So these are the three main uh, important and the blood work as well. So these are the three main tests uh, which your doctor will, uh, especially the doctors who deal with this kind of disease are the neurologists. In case uh, when in the lumbar puncture test, a small amount of the fluid is withdrawn from the spinal uh, canal to check under the microscope if there is any um, uh, I mean, for any changes you know and uh, in electromyopathy the thin needles are inserted into the muscles to see the muscle activity or how active the muscles are how they are working so their uh, activity or their functionality and otherwise in nerve conduction studies uh, the electrodes are tagged to the skin above the nerves and then a shock is passed through the nerves to measure the speed of the signals they process. So this is known as nerve conduction physiology or nerve physiology or nerve conduction studies. So these are three main tests. So lumbar puncture test, uh, electromyography and nerve conduction studies. Once diagnosed, then the treatment uh, is symptomatic. You know, so I, I said there's no cure, and the reason uh, there's no cure because we don't know the exact cause. Uh, but two types of the treatments can speed up the recovery. Uh, the number one is known as the plasma phases, where the blood plasma is uh, exchanged, and the other one is the immunoglobulin therapy. So these are the two main types of the treatment when we are talking about the plasma exchange or the plasma phases the liquid portion of the blood which is known as plasma uh, is removed it's separated from your blood cells and the blood cells are then put back into the body which manufactures more plasma to make up for what was removed and the plasma, uh, this plasma exchange uh, may work for uh, uh, like uh, reading the plasma of certain antibodies to remove those that contribute to the immune system's attacks on the peripheral nerves. So the purpose is to remove those antibodies. And the next uh, type of the therapy is like immunoglobulin therapy containing healthy antibodies from the blood donors is given. Uh, through the intravenously and the high doses of this uh, uh, can block the damaging antibodies that may contribute to this uh, Guillain-Barre syndrome and uh, these both are uh, equally effective but the first uh, most of the time the the first one the plasma phase is tried first uh, Your doctor will also give you the medications to control the symptoms like painkillers or maybe blood thinners to uh, prevent the blood clots. Uh, and the physiotherapy after that uh, is very important and it plays a very important role in the recovery. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about any disease, any medical condition, you can visit my website. That is www.immunodontdiseaseandtreatment.com. And please don't forget to like, subscribe, or share these videos to your friends.